Hello everyone, I'm at 34 from Psychic Gamers, and today I'm going to be giving you my opinion about the brand new free for all gunplay playlist. If you want to play this playlist for yourself, then just hop onto MW3, go into Community Playlist, and then select FFA Gunplay. Contained within this playlist are four modes one in the chamber, two variations of gun game, and a brand new free for all mode called All or Nothing. One in the chamber is almost identical to the Black Ops variation. You start with a pistol with one bullet and of course your knife. For every kill you get, you get an extra bullet. Both methods are always a one hit kill so you won't have to worry about hit markers. All you have to do is aim precisely and you'll be guaranteed a kill. Once you're killed three times, then you are eliminated. The last person alive is the winner. Once you're eliminated, you have the opportunity to spectate other players. In spectator mode you are able to select a player who you think will do well and for every subsequent kill they get you earn 150 extra XP so being eliminated isn't at the end of the game for you. The next two modes are gun game variations. Now if you are a Black Ops player or of course a Counter Strike player from which the gun game originated then you will be familiar with this mode. Unlike Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3's version of gun game only has 18 weapon ranks. These range from SMGs to sniper rifles to LMGs and assault rifles. The only thing missing are launchers and the riot shield. There are two variations of this mode. One is the standard 18 gun gun game and you cycle through all 18 guns in the following order. M4A1, ACR, PP90M1, Type 95, MK46, UMP45, MP7, Striker, Barrett, L86, LSW, P90, AK47, RSASS, SPAS12, G18, Magnum, and then you finish with the P99. The gun game 3x6 variation only had 6 guns, but you have to repeat this 3 times in order to get full 18 ranks. They go PP90M1, Type 95, L86, LSW, Striker, Scorpion, and 57. You have infinite ammo to get your kills, although you do still have to reload. Once you do get a kill with your gun, however, you go on to the next weapon. You can also get kills with your knife, which has the added benefit of demoting the player who you killed. This means that they'll go back to the previous gun rank. Getting knife kills, however, does not increase your weapon rank, so this isn't an easy way out of getting past a hard gun. The fourth and final game mode is a brand new mode called All or Nothing. This seems to have come from a user generated free for all recipe. Everyone gets a USP45 tactical knife and a throwing knife. You have the perks Extreme Conditioning, Hardline and Stalker. You also have the specialist point streak of Scavenger, Quick Draw and Steady Aim. Because you have Hardline as one of your initial perks, this means that the first kill after your respawn will unlock Scavenger. You can then pick up ammo for your USP45. However, once you get killed, you go back to having no ammo and none of your specialist perks. The first person to get 20 kills wins. So that's all the information about these new modes, but what about my opinion on them? Starting with Gun Game. This mode is good fun. I mean, I don't like getting demoted with a knife because it's a one hit kill, which isn't exactly hard to get with the knife mechanic on this game. But, you know, that's part of the game, that's not going to change, that's just something we'll have to get used to. And you'll just have to stay far back from enemies, or be quicker on the knife. The only thing I would say is that the order the guns go in doesn't really have the same flow as Black Ops. Black Ops purposely ordered the guns so that they were in different tiers. So you start with, say, submachine guns, then go on to LMGs, then sniper rifles, and at the end you had the crossbow and the ballistic knife, so the specials. However, in Modern Warfare 3's gun game, it's just sort of all over the place. They aren't tiered like that. I mean, I read out them to you. There is no sort of order. I mean, it would have been nice, I think, if they were ordered similar to Black Ops, because it gave people sort of a chance to catch up. You know when people got onto snipers, it would be a lot harder for them to get past. Especially on here, I mean, sniping is a lot easier on Modern Warfare 3 than it is on Black Ops, but you don't have the benefit of quick draw because that isn't one of the perks they give you in gun game. The other thing, Modern Warfare 3's gun game in private match ended with the javelin, which means it was a lot harder for you to win the game. 
I mean, the P99 is a very poor gun, but it's not exactly difficult to get the jump on somebody with it, shoot them from behind, they're none the wiser. However, with the javelin, you had 8 seconds before that thing came down and you knew if you'd got the kill or not. That meant that people who were way behind you had the chance to catch up, and it was a lot more fun for people that, you know, were doing really poorly. The same goes for in Black Ops when you had to use the crossbow and the ballistic knife. Perhaps they should have kept the javelin in, or perhaps they should have used the riot shield, you know, two hit kill, quite slow movement, you have to melee. That sort of thing I think would have been a bit more interesting than just giving you a slightly cruddy pistol to use. I actually prefer the normal 18 gun mode over the 6x3 mode, mainly because you just get to use all the guns and the snipers are in there as well. Next mode is one in a chamber. There's not really much to say about this, it's pretty much the same as Black Ops. What I don't remember it doing on Black Ops though is when you get down to the last three people it tells you exactly where they are on the radar. It might have done that but I haven't played one in a chamber on Black Ops in absolute ages so I can't quite remember. This is, this sounds good on paper, I mean it stops people really camping it out, you know where they are. It stops them sitting there and then you having to go and find them and perhaps you missing their hiding place and them just shooting you in the back. However what this does do is means you know exactly where they are. So it's always a bit of a standoff between the last three people and even worse when it gets down to the last two because you're moving really slowly trying to find a way you can peek your head out without the enemy seeing you. What I would have said is instead of having a, um, a permanent radar on, so the dot is always there, it's like they're tagged with recon. I mean it doesn't show you the direction they're going, it shows you where they are on the map, just as a dot. I'd say instead of having a permanent dot moving around, I would have had a UAV sweep. So that means that what it goes across like every one or two seconds, that gives you a bit of an opportunity to move without the enemy seeing exactly where you are. That's what I would have done, that's what they did at the end of Infected. The other thing that I found a bit weird um, is the glitch spots that they took out of Infected you can't go in in one of the chambers. Now I suppose this makes sense because if um, if the enemy only has a knife and you have a, you have a bullet left then you could just sit in one of those glitch spots and they can't knife you. However, I don't know, I kind of found it a bit annoying because I went in like a slight glitch spot to try and see where people were this is one of the glitch spots that I don't think is quite as bad as the other ones on hard hat and I died instantly and that cost me a life because I didn't realize it was going to happen so I won't be making that mistake again unless I accidentally walk into one I'm kind of 50-50 on that next one all or nothing I'm not a big fan of this mode at all I think it's very unbalanced the knife mechanic actually you no know, I'll save to have my rant on the knife mechanic Throwing knives I find hard to hit people with and as soon as you get the bullets you're going to rack up so many more kills than the people with the knives. I mean it seems that when you get the bullets because you show up on the map because you're shooting loads and loads of people run towards you. That's both a good thing and a bad thing because they're trying to kill you but you can fend them off with your gun. The USP isn't exactly the most powerful gun in the game but you will rack up quite a few kills with this if you're in a sort of defensive position like cornered in a map. Now it doesn't sound good being cornered, but because they can only melee and throw knife you, it's almost like infected at that point. You know, maybe when I get a bit better at it, but all it seems is, the point is to get your bullets and then just go camp somewhere. You know, it, it doesn't, it doesn't um, encourage you to run around. And now for some complaints which affect all of these modes. Because they're free for all variations, these suffer really badly from very poor spawns. The trouble with free for all spawns is they are really focused on you getting payback kills. So if you kill an enemy, it's very likely that they will spawn quite close to you. And because they've only just died, they'll know exactly where you are. Completely cutting short any kill streak you've run. Which is especially annoying in uh, all or nothing. Because obviously when you get killed, you go back to having nothing. And because some of these modes have more than the normal 3 4 8, on the smaller maps there are a lot of terrible issues with spawns. So like on Dome I was playing, I think it was all or nothing, and I spawned inside someone. Or I spawned right next to someone, and as they ran away I just chucked a throwing knife in their back. I've also spawned in one in a chamber, 
during a host migration right next to someone who then proceeded to kill me, which wasn't very pleasant at all. If I've got some footage of these poor spawns then I'll put them up at the end of this video, but trust me, the spawns are shocking, even worse than normal free for all. And finally, a quick complaint about the knife mechanic. This is prevalent in all of these game modes. Gun game, you use a knife to demote people. One in a chamber, you use a knife if you run out of a bullet. And obviously, in all or nothing, you are forced to knife at some point in a game, unless you're amazing with the throwing knife. I hate the knife mechanic on Modern Warfare 3. Absolutely despise it. One hit kill is a bit questionable. The commander lunge is even more questionable. Commander was taken out of the game, but the lunge is still there, and the trouble is, it's very one-sided. So I'll like stab people right next to them, and it won't do anything, and then they can lunge like 50 foot at me. Very, very irritating, especially as I play on tactical, so I have to reach halfway across my controller to knife, and I can't aim at the same time, so I can't turn with the person as they knife. So that's why I'm not a big fan of knifing in this. Um, I've got a couple of ridiculous clips I could probably show you. Anyway, that's just my opinion on it. If you want to go and form your own opinion, make sure to go check the playlist out. The games are quite fun, but there are a few issues with them that I hope I've picked up in this commentary. I'll just leave you to see the rest of this gameplay. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, and I shall see you next time. Yeah.